Okay, next we're gonna do goniometry of the foot and ankle. Uh, this is the uh, dorsiflexion of the ankle joint, uh, the tello uh, cruel joint specifically. Uh, we're gonna have the patient sitting on a table with his uh, knee over the edge of the table, flexed at 90 degrees, and his ankle is going to be in zero degrees of inversion and eversion. Uh, and we can also ask him to uh, stabilize his knee so he can hold his knee if he, uh, to help us out. Um, for this one, we're going to use a large goniometer and we're going to find our uh, lateral male malleolus, the midpoint of that, uh, is going to be our fulcrum. Our stationary arm is going to go um, up along the um, fibula, in line with the fibula. And then the stationary, the moving arm is going to be in line with the fifth metatarsal, just parallel to that. Okay? So, once we have all those landmarks, he's going to dorsiflex, so he's going to come up. So, again, we want to check your landmarks to make sure they are all parallel to your fifth. And normal movement for dorsiflexion is going to be 20 degrees dorsiflexion. We can also do plantar flexion of the telocrural joint. Uh, same position, he's going to be sitting on a table with his knee flexed at 90 degrees and his, uh, he is at zero degrees of in, uh, inversion, eversion. Our landmarks are going to be the same, uh, just lateral to the lateral uh, malleolus is your fulcrum. Your stationary arm again is going to be parallel to the fibula on the lateral side uh, and then your moving arm is going to be in line with the um, fifth metatarsal bone. And then for this one I'm going to ask him to uh, plantar flex, point his toes down and again try maintaining my, my landmarks uh, parallel and in line with the lateral malleolus here. Um, keeping in line with the fibula and the uh, metatarsals, the fifth metatarsal bone. And normal flexion, for, normal for this is going to be 50 degrees. So we're going to do goniometry measurement at the tarsal joint for inversion and eversion. First our uh, inversion, we're going to have him sitting on a table with his knee uh, over the edge of the table at flexed at 50, 90 degrees. Uh, his ankle should be in neutral. Um, so what I want to do is maybe find his uh, medial and lateral malleolus and uh, we can palpate his talus bone just to make sure that he's in a, a neutral or zero position to start with as well as his you know tendons and are also uh, centered. And then our uh, goniometer, we're going to use a, a smaller goniometer. And for this one, we're going to um, have the fulcrum is going to be in the anterior access aspect of the ankle midway between uh, the two malle malleoli. So again, I'm just going to eyeball that. Your uh, stationary ar arm is going to be, again, in line with the uh, tibia, or the lower leg. And then the moving arm is going to be in line with the uh, second metatarsal bone, like so. And the first one we're going to do is inversion. So I'm going to have him again trying to keep stabilizing his knee and just moving in inversion. I'm going to again make sure I maintain um, my landmarks uh, again up the center of the leg as well as down to the second uh, metatarsal uh, bone. And normal for this. Uh, from this forefoot view is going to be 35 degrees inversion. I can also do um, 
E version, again, he's sitting off the edge of the table with his knee at 90 degrees. Um, again, we're gonna find a neutral or zero by palpating his talus between his lateral and medial malleolus. Um, and again, your fulcrum is gonna be the same as before. It's gonna be between the lateral and medial malleolus. Your stationary arm is gonna be in midline of his um, tibia. And then the, the moving arm is gonna be in line with the uh, second metatarsal bone. And then again, he's gonna, now he's gonna evert, again, stabilizing the knee. And he's just gonna be using his uh, ankle tarsal joint and check to make sure that your line marks are still in line for the fulcrum stationary and moving arm and normal for this is going to in the four foot uh, procedure like this is going to be 15 degrees okay next we're going to do goniometry measurement of the metatarsal phalangeal joints uh, we're going to use the uh, first digit the great toe um, uh, first one that we're going to be doing is a uh, flexion. This we're going to do on the medial side of the foot uh, using a goniometer. We're going to line the fulcrum at the um, metatarsal phalangeal joint. Uh, the uh, stationary arm is going to be in line with the metatarsal, in this case the first metatarsal, and the moving arm is going to be in line with the uh, proximal uh, phalanx of that digit. This is the first phalanx. So uh, once we have those measurements then we're gonna um, uh, flex flex the toe as much as possible. Again keeping those landmarks aligned. Normal reading for this for the first digit is 45 degrees flexion. For digits 2 through 5 is uh, 40, 40 degrees. Another method of doing this is we can do it on the, the dorsal um, aspect of, of each digit. So um, using a uh, dorsal goniometer and for this one we just again we st stick the, um, the fulcrum is going to be over the metatarsal phalangeal joint over the center of it on top Stationary arm is going to be on the dorsal aspect of the metatarsal being tested and the moving arm is going to be the proximal uh, phalanx for that digit. Uh, and then we're going to flex the toe as much as possible and again um, with the same degrees as we had for um, the other one, 45 degrees for the first toe and 40 degrees for digits two through um, five. We're also going to do um, extension of the same joint, metatarsal phalangeal joint. Uh, again, we'll do it on the, using the plastic goniometer. We're going to use the uh, stationary arm again at the same location at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Stationary arm is along the metatarsal bone, and the moving arm is going to be in line with the uh, proximal phalanx of that joint uh, and then we're going to extend it and likewise we are going to uh, keep it aligned and get our measurements uh, for extension for the first digit is going to be seven degrees for digits uh, true through five is going to be 40 degrees uh, likewise we can use the metal or the dorsal goniometer this time it's going to go on a planar surface of the foot. The fulcrum likewise is going to be in the center of the metatarsal phalangeal joint. For the joint being tested, the moving arm is going to be on the proximal phalanx. And then again we're going to uh, pull back an extension as much as possible. And the reading again is uh, 70 degrees for the first digit uh, and 40 degrees for digits uh, 2 through 5.